Hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Rolando. In this video I'm going to be talking about what was it like growing up around Asians in Hawaii. Very interesting. First of all, Hawaii had the largest portion of Asian Americans with 57% state population identifying as Asian or multiracial with at least one part Asian. That was a 2010 census. 57%, that's quite a bit. It's the majority. Look at just Asians. This includes Japanese, Chinese, Korean, and anybody that would identify as Asian. Okay. I showed some pictures here of Chinese, and Japanese, and so forth. Now, my mom, as I was growing up in Hawaii, my mom would always cook what I call sticky rice. Okay, and sweet sour, spare ribs, teriyaki meat, butterfish, a lot of Japanese things, you know, or Chinese things, I should say. Dishes. I grew up eating Asian food throughout my life. And I love to eat, you know, certain things like manapua, or cash, saimen, roast stuff, and many other types of Asian foods. I should just show you some pictures of uh, some of the Asian foods that we, we always go to uh, Makali shopping center and there's a restaurant there, a Chinese restaurant called Yuen. And these are, this is the food, they have the lobster roast, I like the duck, and the um, sweet sour pork chops, and so those are the pictures there. And then you've got the Manapua. I love Manapua, you know, and when I, when my, my wife is from Shanghai, and when she said, when I told her Manapua, she didn't know what, what I was talking about, so I had to say Cha Su Bao. Cha Su Bao, now they understand what they're talking about. So Cha Su Bao, I love Cha Su Bao. And we also like to eat dim sum. We go out, we eat dim sum. Various places, there's a Jade Dynasty, there's another one, um, on Kapiolani, I don't know the name, I forgot the name, but anyway, we go there all the time. I said some of the dim sum. And then my wife likes to cook a lot of Chinese food. She always cooks a lot of food. And she invites me, she's very sociable, invites her friends over, and she cooks a lot for them. So, I went to school throughout my life, mostly in grade school, with of Asian, Caucasian kids. So yeah, I got a picture there showing uh, St. Patrick's. You had Asian, you had Chinese, Japanese, you had um, Portuguese, all different races of Asian kids. And then I went to Kamehameha after that, and even at Kamehameha, you had Chinese, Hawaiian kids, you know, mixture with Chinese, or they weren't just pure Hawaiian, they're all mixed with. Asian influence. So, and then I'm showing you know, some pictures of my friends at St. Patrick's, you know, Chinese guy, a Hawaiian guy, a Portuguese guy. But anyway, the biggest adjustment I had to make was when I went into the US Army. Okay? That was my biggest adjustment. Because, you know, there's no such thing as sticky rice anymore. No such thing as sour spirits, no such thing as teriyaki meat, all that's gone. It's for years. <laughs> whole time I was in the military, I had to eat. Well, I mean, I eat other foods too, not just that. I eat, you know, meatloaf and chicken and whatever, roast beef. So the food, but I, I, all those types of foods that I was raised on, all gone. And there was not much Asian people too the group uh, you know I was with the army so when I, when I got out of the army after three years I was very happy because when I came back home my mom she makes herbs again teriyaki meat sticky rice and all that or back in heaven again so I, and I, it's, that's the kind of food 
um, I grew up with, and you know, now, so I was very happy when I came back home. And then later in my, in my lifetime, after my parents passed away and so forth, I uh, ended up marrying an Asian woman, and I, twice in my lifetime actually. The first wife is Japanese American. She passed away in 2007. We were married for 26 years. She had some heart problems, but and I was a widower for about six years. And I remarried in 2013 to, to Min Lee, who's Chinese. So today, September 25th, 2023, is our 10th anniversary. She's with her daughter in Dallas, Texas. I had to send her a text message. <laughs> She and her happy anniversary. So anyway, but you know, we've been married ten years already. That's that's a story, you know. So as far as Asian influence in my life, from baby time until now, I've had nothing but Asian influence. I grew up eating Asian foods, marrying an Asian woman, tremendous a lot of Asian influence in Hawaii, I think. It's a beautiful thing. I think Hawaii is such a such a diverse uh, place. With so many different ethnic backgrounds here. And I'm not just the only one like that. In many cases, like there are many people through marriages and so forth, and I've married other races. And so forth. It's a beautiful thing. Hawaii is so unique in that regard. And, you know, I'm very happy that. Are like that. Anyway, that was the influence, the Asian influence in my life. It's been that way ever since I was born. So, folks, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Mahalo for watching and mahalo for